Hi, welcome to WiseCat. Okay, so I've just upgraded my Moodle behind me here to 4.0, and I've fixed up my little uh, logo there, the WiseCat in the top right corner, but it's time for me to fix something that I find a little bit, uh, well, it has been a little bit controversial, but that is uh, the width of the display area. So uh, let's take a look at it. First, I'll explain the, the issue that I have with it and the potential fix for it. So let's get into it. Okay, so here I am on the um, top page for my, uh, the, the dashboard. So I've, I'm logged in and I've gone to dashboard and there, there are definitely tons and tons of advantages here. If I log out and then log in once more, you'll see it'll actually say to me, you know, welcome back Adam. And this is very clean and nice and everything like that. This is not the problem. The problem actually happens usually when you come into a course, you come into a course and, okay, so we've still got this is nice and clean here and that's a clean view here and everything like this. But then I come to forum announcements. Let's go into the announcements forum and suddenly it's white. Okay, that's a bit jarring. What about if we go into, say, an assignment? So rubric on is an assignment module. Oh, and we're back to narrow again. Okay. Um, but what about if we next go to, say, a workshop module and we're white again? To Okay, so there are arguments to be made as to whether, you know, having it narrow is based on the research that has been done. I know that there's been research done in this field and everything. And there's a, a lot of research that says, if you have it narrow, it's less cluttered, there's more white space on the screen, and people like that. Okay. Um, but some people don't like that. And in particular, consistency. If it were consistently the same width, sure. I would totally be able to agree with that. I'd be totally on board with it if it were consistently the same width all the way through. But it changes depending on module to module. It changes from narrow, wide, narrow, wide. You never know what you're gonna do. Second thing that I would say about this. Now, I have deliberately gone out of my way to spend my money to purchase a nice, big, wide monitor. And you know what? If, um, if I actually wanted it to be thinner, oh, my terminal's still there. If I wanted it to be thinner, I would just do something like this and put it over the side. Now it's thin, see? And not only that, to heck with wide space. Who wants wide space? I don't want wide space. I wanna have my trees in the background. So I chose that background because I like this background of all the trees and everything, right? So if I want my, my browser to be narrower, I can make it narrower. This is user choice, user choice. And so I know it's controversial. Some people are gonna say, oh, but the white space is, is important and things like that. Yeah, great, but don't force it on me, right? If I go into the working Mac workshop, this workshop module, and I think, oh, that's too wide. I don't want it that wide. I can choose to make my browser smaller. I can choose to make it thinner, right? And so, I'm sorry, but that that's going to be my take on it is if that if I want it to be smaller, I want to have the freedom to make it smaller myself. Right. And I want it to be the same. So let's go find there's a tiny little piece of CSS code that you can add to your uh, boost theme that will make them consistent, at least. Now they'll be wide consistent, but they'll be consistent. Okay. Um, uh, ooh, I forgot to prepare the snippet. I'm going to go grab that snippet and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back again and now I'm smaller and I have prepared my snippet. So in here, um, again, if we're going back through here just to show that the problem is still there, I haven't actually gone and fixed it yet. So Rubicon is narrow, announcements is wide, uh, working with workshop is wide. But the uh, site course homepage itself is narrow. Okay, so we want to make all of these the same width. So we go to site administration, appearance, and the boost theme, which we are currently using. 
we want to go to advanced settings and we want to set a um, variable here. And the variable that we're setting is course content max width, 100%. And we're going to force that to be the default there. And this basically, if I add a comment above, and if you're adding CSS, always add a comment. Um, future yourself will hate you if you don't, right? Because it's, it's you in the future who's going to be looking at this and wondering, what the heck does that do? So uh, make the content area use all the available available space. All right, so I've got that making using all the available space there. And so I'm just going to say for oh, my smooth scrolling is still there. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so I've gone here all the available space that's done that is now saved which also means that the CSS would have been regenerated let's go back to our home page and see what's different well that's already different it's wider if I go into my course let's say my courses that's nice and wide again okay I understand yeah good uh, Leroy studies now it's it's full width right whereas before it wasn't if we go into a f announcements same width if we go to rubricon same width. If we go to working with workshop, same width, right? It is not, things are not jumping about different locations on the screen, right? When it, when it's jumping about, I mean, before when it was mid, uh, you know, the Theno version, Rubicon, this heading as well was sort of shoved over in the middle or something. When I went to announcements as well, this announcements was moved over into the middle as if it were narrow. And then the actual content area was wide and there was no consistency before. If you want to make it narrow, make it consistent and narrow. And if you say, well, in the forums, it doesn't all fit. And that means that the, the entries need to be reformatted. They need, they need to be reworked. Um, but having it jerkily go narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow word, that lack of consistency, I'm sorry, I can't be on board with that. I tried it. I, you know, I, I know this is a controversial point for, for a lot of people. I tried it and it was jarring. It was, um, it was a jarring experience. It just felt so wrong. Right? Um, it took away from the, the experience. So, um, I'm not 100% against the idea of a narrow, a narrow content area with a clean uh, put. When you're reading prose, when I'm reading long strips of prose, I do want uh, it to be narrower. I don't want to read, you know, all the way from one edge of my screen to the other. I don't want to do that. But if I ever run into that problem, you know, I can just do this. And boom, now it's no longer going all the way across my screen. It's narrow. I have that option. And I bought this monitor, these big monitors, so that I would have that option. So um, I'm just going to say that um, I'm sorry, but I know I understand people have different opinions on this. If you have uh, your own opinion, you think I'm too completely wrong and narrow is the, the future, um, by all means, <laughs> hit me up in the comments and disagree with me or better still make your own video as to why narrow is awesome um but for me i can tell you i tried it i i gave it a couple of weeks all right you know i've I mean, it's over a m month since 4.0 is released i did give it some time i tried it and no it did not grow on me uh so um yeah. that's me being a grump i guess Okay, so this uh, I want to keep this one fairly short. So here we go. There's my fairly short rant about uh, making an arrow. So I'll post the CSS that I used to do that in the bottom, just to review as to how the change is actually made. Site administration, appearance, boost, uh, advanced, and you just in the raw initial CSS so that you said that is a variable early. Um, you just post this in there and I will actually copy this right now so that I can post it in the description below. Okay, thank you very much. I hope this helped and I'll catch you next time.